basically the Midas touch in a can. This is 33 ways spray paint can make your stuff look more expensive by Peggy Wang. One, your fridge just got classier with these gold spray painted magnetic alphabet letters. As you may have guessed from pictures, I love these letters as a kid and I may have loved them even more as an adult. I know I'm going to have some fun with these. So what do you think of the gold letters? Are you going to make some bling for your fridge? Two, easiest winter decor ever. Give dead branches new life with gold spray paint. All that glitters is gold. Three, save tons of money on a new faucet by just spray painting the one that you have. Step one, lightly sand the surface of the faucet with grinder equipped with a wire wheel. Next, give it a quick coat of primer. Step two, then use your favorite Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint in oil rubbed bronze and give it two coats, letting it fully dry in between. Done. Hello! Looking better already, right? 4. Do the same to your doorknobs. A can of Rust-Oleum oil bronze spray paint is about $7 on Amazon. Three cans can cover nine doorknobs, including the screws, knobs, locks, and hinges, and it is available in nickel and stainless steel if you don't prefer this color. How about the spray painted doorknobs? It looks great and feels fine. It's smooth and feels just like a bronze colored knob would. Five, string lights don't have to be relegated to the holidays if you paint them gold. Your mantle will now look straight out of a chilled out Scandinavian home. Six, take those orange terracotta pots to the next level. Seven, cover up that gross patio furniture mildew by spray painting directly onto the fabric. Yes, right. With Spray It News, simply spray fabric paint. Seriously, it is spray paint made for fabric. Like, really made for fabric. That's a mixture to concoct with fabric medium. This stuff is actually absorbed into the fabric and leaves a dyed surface, no crunchies whatsoever. I anticipated needing two cans for the one large cushion, and it took four. I could have used a fifth and will probably end up ordering an extra can just to get the few little spots out that I can still tell aren't even. It's still cheaper than a new cushion, by the way. Tip, I found the best way to use it was to spray continuously. Whenever I stopped and then when I started back up, I got some splatters, which I then had to rub into the fabric to fix, which required stopping and starting again. Eventually, I learned to stop and start away from the cushion. This works for sun faded cushions as well. The secret is Krylon Burgundy and Krylon Cherry Red. Eight, DIY your own curtain rods by spray painting electrical conduit from the hardware store. Bless the person that invented this lightweight, sturdy, and extremely inexpensive product. Once the pipe was cut to length, propped it up in the garage and spray painted it, as well as all of the curtain rod hardware using oil rubbed bronze on a flat black so that your curtains would be the focal point, not the rod itself. This curtain rod's DIY will cost you about $8. Trust me, a non-DIY 10-foot curtain rod could cost you anywhere from $40 to $80, if not more. Visit the info area to discover more details. Nine, or spray paint PVC pipe to create a seamless custom curtain rod system. This whole rod setup for those three windows, including the pipes, brackets, spray paint, and finials, ended up costing about $20, and $5 of that was for the spray paint. 10. Baby's breath doesn't have to look like the cheapest flower option. You can spray paint directly onto the flowers. 11. Turn dollar store pails into metal look tubs. Looks more fancy, right? 12. Tape up that boring white fridge and paint it gold. 13. Make those old vents and floor registers look like new again. 1. Take out all vent covers in your house. 2. Spray several light coats of Krylon oil rubbed bronze spray paint from all angles. 3. While they were drying, I took the opportunity to vacuum out all the vents. 4. Don't forget nasty vent covers in the kitchen. This is our old dining room vent cover before and after. Our kitchen vent cover before and after and our living room vent cover before and after. So much better, right? Even our cat Casper agrees. 14. Give your winter galoshes an update. Just use stencils or tape and spray on using rubberized spray paint, Rust-Oleum Flexi Dip or Plasti Dip. Or just go for an all-over color swap. 
using Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover that will bond to plastic. Simply cover up the label with painter's tape and start painting. 15. Gold spray paint plus straws plus string equals the easiest party bunting. Buntings aren't dead yet, and you can try something a little less country, shabby chicish, with this gold straw bunting. It's light and airy and almost feels like a piece of jewelry for your home. 1. You'll need lots of paper straws. Full length straws and one half length for each triangle, some heavy threads or twine, and a large needle. 2. Start by threading the needle and thread through the small straw. 3. Pull a long length of the thread through the straw. 4. Put the thread through one of the full length straws. 5. Thread the needle and thread through the second full length straw. 6. Now thread the needle back through the short straw. Pull tight so that the straws are tight against each other at the points. 7. Start again and continue step 2 to 6. 8. Using gold spray paint, paint the bunting in a well ventilated area. You will need to turn the bunting over and rotate the straws a couple times to cover all sides of the straws. 16. Make mirror orbs for your yard by spray painting them with looking glass paint. Mirror, mirror on the ball. One can of spray paint made three balls for us. Three gazing balls from the store, $120. Three unbreakable gazing balls from this DIY project, $20. This is a photo that inspired this project. 17. Create large, lovely planners by spray painting cheap plastic garbage cans. Step 1. Use bricks as a platform during the spray painting process to make sure you could thoroughly spray the bottom edge of the can. Step 2. Once the paint is dried, stack your bricks at the bottom or center of the large garbage can. Next, flip the smaller garbage can upside down and place over the bricks at the bottom of the large garbage can. Make sure the smaller can is pushed all the way down. Step 3. Optional. Fill the large garbage can with potting soil to the appropriate height for planting. That's it! You're done! Our local Home Depot wanted $80 for a simple, tall, rectangular outdoor pot like this. With this DIY planter, I could pocket $65 for other purposes. Now that's something to write home about. 18. Make your patio furniture less boring by spray painting it any color you want. Black wrought iron is just so it went from drab tan to lime and turquoise in the space of a couple of hours to finally a beautiful, deep, dark coffee color. To refurbish wrought iron, you only have to clean the surface, either with a damp cloth or by spraying it down with water and letting it dry. Then, use a good quality spray paint and paint away. I used four cans of paint for all these pieces, four chairs and a table. In a couple of hours, you'll have a brand new looking set. 19. Turn dollar store locker baskets into restoration hardware-esque industrial baskets with a coat of gray spray paint. Just grab some gray spray paint and, well, give them a good spraying. Once dry, mix together some white and black acrylic paint and dry brush some gray paint over the gray spray paint. Which seems odd, but it adds another layer of texture and dullness. It is all quick and sloppy, like it represented years and years of crusty buildup, and not just 15 minutes of me and a brush and some paint one afternoon last week. 20. Cheap rubber mats can look downright joyful and welcoming with a bright coat of spray paint. 21. Best idea ever. Spray paint measuring tape and use it instead as a growth chart for the kids. This brilliant concept brought to you by Variations on Normal. First, spray the whole thing white. Second, consider that new measuring tape a portable diary or a sketch board for a 30-day project. 22. Rust-Oleum makes your outlets look less plasticky. They sell these outlet covers for like $12 a piece at Restoration Hardware. You can now get the look for free. 23. Make any cheap-looking brass fixtures look like oil-rubbed bronze. Your dated ceiling fan can now get the makeover it so deserves. Directions. 1. Cleaned off all the dust and grime. 2. As a first coat, layer it using a gray spray paint primer. Twist the fixture to get all the sides, spraying all the nooks and crannies. 3. After 10 minutes in the primer dried, spray painted the actual paint. Choose oil rubbed bronze. 4. Walk around for 10 to 15 minutes holding it so they could dry and not smear. Then put it right back up. Enjoy the new look. 24. Make your vases and lamps look like mercury glass by spritzing with water and then doing a coat of Krylon looking glass spray paint or this awesome gold dip ceramics by Angelica Temple. 
First off, I bought a bunch of inexpensive vases, mugs, and a utensil holder over on Amazon. Second, you use a painter's tape to cover the section of the vase that you want to remain white. For larger pieces, you're going to want to use saran wrap or a plastic bag to cover up the bulk of the part that you want to keep white. Now, spray. Spray two coats and let it dry for about 20 minutes. And finally, the fun part. Peel off the tape and woohoo! Clean lines, gilded vases, and the whole shebang. Add a few berry-like buds, leaves, and you've got a gorgeous little scene. 25. The ultimate IKEA hack. Turning the Vitzjo shelf gold. 26. Make over your dresser and cabinet hardware. Hack! Stick those knobs into the bottom of a styrofoam egg carton before spraying. Now you can get all 360 degrees of each knob in one go. 27. Make your wicker basket a little less traditional with metal spray paint. 1. Spray paint with whichever bottom paint you would like. I used a nice Krylon white, which was both primer and paint. I always appreciate that. 2. Tape areas that you want to keep white, and then spray paint with top color. And finished. 28. Do the same with one of those cheap IKEA trash bins. The only problem with fancying up our trash can is now I don't want to throw any trash in it. 29. Spray paint directly onto leather. Mind blown. There are so many old and sad vinyl chairs and thrift stores all around the world just waiting for a can of spray paint to come to the rescue. 1. Deep clean from decades of germs and gunk using a hardcore degreaser called Crud Cutter. 2. Put the legs in a garbage bag and tape around the base of the seat. 3. Spray paint the old vinyl office chair with rust oleum vinyl spray paint that has primer built in. 4. Create the space. 5. Spray the non-taped area with black. And done. 30. Transform an entire dresser. I promise your hand will be way less tired than brush painting. 31. Make wind stakes to pretty up the garden. They're just ping pong balls strung onto wire stakes and sprayed with looking glass paint. 32. Spray paint a plant hanger. Turn it on its side and use it as a curtain hook. Get the tutorial at yellowbrickhome.com. And finally, 33. Fake a mirrored top. Looking glass spray paint is now officially the best thing that's ever happened to you. 1. Get Krylon looking glass. 2. Spray the underneath side of the glass so that the paint doesn't scratch where you set your trinkets on top of it. That's pretty much it. If you're still listening, press like or the share button under this video. Or comment on it if you want the world to hear your voice. And last, press subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. That would be my pleasure. See you later.